Uh, thank you very much, David, and good afternoon. It is wonderful to be here in Lockern, and uh, thank you so much uh, to the people of Northern Ireland for their warm hospitality. And uh, Prime Minister Cameron, thank you for uh, all the outstanding arrangements. Uh, among the things we'll discuss here are promoting uh, new growth and jobs on both sides of the Atlantic. And I'm pleased to join these leaders to announce the launch of negotiations on a new trade agreement that will help us do just that. Uh, the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, uh, also known as TTIP. Uh, I want to thank not only the gentlemen on this stage, but also uh, President Soulon, uh, Chancellor Merkel, uh, Prime Minister Letta, and Taoiseach Kenny. We just had an excellent meeting, uh, and I'm proud to say that America will have the opportunity to host the first round of negotiations next month in Washington. Uh, as has already been mentioned, the U.S.-EU relationship is the largest in the world. It makes up nearly half of global GDP. We trade about a trillion dollars in goods and services each year. We invest nearly four trillion dollars in each other's economies. And all that supports around 13 million jobs on both sides of the Atlantic. And this potentially groundbreaking partnership would deepen those ties. It would increase exports, decrease barriers to trade and investment. As part of broader growth strategies in both our economies, it would support hundreds of thousands of jobs on both sides of the ocean. So uh, I'm pleased to hear that this negotiation enjoys the support not only of the countries that are here today, but also the broader EU membership. Uh, I can tell you that it's been warmly received in the United States as well, both in our Congress and in our business community. And that broad support on both sides of the Atlantic will help us work through some of the tough issues that have already been mentioned. Uh, there are going to be sensitivities on both sides. Uh, there are going to be politics on both sides. But if we can look beyond the narrow concerns to stay focused on the big picture, the economic and strategic importance of this partnership, uh, I'm hopeful we can achieve the kind of high standard, comprehensive agreement uh, that the global trading system is looking to us to develop. America and Europe have done uh, extraordinary things together before, and I believe we can forge an economic alliance as strong as our diplomatic and security alliances, which, are, of course, have been the most powerful in history. And by doing that, we can also strengthen the multilateral trading system. So this transatlantic trade and investment partnership is going to be a priority of mine and my administration. Uh, it is important that we get it right, and that means resisting the temptation to downsize our ambitions or avoid tough issues just for the sake of getting a deal. And that makes sure also, uh, it's important that we also make sure that it's part of an overall plan to do what it takes to promote growth and jobs. Trade is critical, but it is not alone a silver bullet. It has to be part of a comprehensive strategy that we pursue on both sides of the Atlantic. Uh, that's what our people deserve. Uh, I very much look forward to working with my fellow leaders to make it happen. Uh, we're going to give a, a, a strong mandate to our negotiators, but occasionally I suspect we're going to have to intervene and, and break through some log jams. Uh, nevertheless, I'm confident that we can, uh, we can get it done. So thank you very much.